Now, again, I'm going to go through the history of COINTELPRO, what's currently happening. But the big issue here is this guy's talking about banning criticism of government, putting taxes on newspapers and magazines that criticize government. And we see Obama coming out and saying, my new cybersecurity czar will censor the web. The NSA and Army and Air Force will run it. Uh, we see uh, all these headlines about should Obama control the Internet. The cybersecurity czar, the first one they appointed uh, early last year uh, in February, resigned, saying the Pentagon's taking over. They're spying on everyone. There's the Wall Street Journal headline, security cyber czar steps down. So this is real bona fide tyranny. Any, and, and he uses an extreme Orwellian example. If you say two plus two equals four, and he says that's a conspiracy theory, he says it's five, they want it to be idiotic. They want to set the precedent that they kill Khalid Sheikh Mohammed more than a dozen times and never retract the last time they claimed they killed him and then the next time they capture him. You know, openly saying we're going to put him on trial after seven years of torture, setting these precedents. Look at this. COINTELPRO, an acronym for counterintelligence program, was a series of covert and often illegal, that's what he's calling for, projects conducted by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation aimed at investigating and disrupting dissonant political organizations within the United States. The FBI used covert operations from its inception. However, formal COINTELPRO operations took place between 1956 and 71. The, and they took over all the state police, you name it. The FBI stated motivation at the time was protecting national security, preventing violence, and maintaining the existing social order of political order. According to the FBI, 85% of COINTELPRO resources were expended on infiltrating, disrupting, marginalizing, and or subverting groups suspected of being subversive. Suspected. And then this was what was popular, so they only released this at the time. It was really after conservatives and the John Birch Society they were going after, but... Uh, such as communist, socialist organizations, the women's rights movement. This now come out the CIA funded that. That's baloney. Militant black nationalist groups. They did go after them. And nonviolent civil rights movements, including individuals such as Martin Luther King and others associated with the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. And it just goes through. Now we know modern COINTELPRO is all peace groups, all libertarian groups, all in the Fed groups. This has all been... Uh, leaked or declassified in the last three years. The MIAC report, the Homeland Security that law enforcement gave us, where they list gun owners, conservatives. That's what Homeland Security is really set up for. And here's the deal. They're now coming out in the open uh, with the new head of TSA. In fact, I had that in my stack. Will you guys print that again? Uh, last week, the, the new head of the TSA being approved right now in Congress gave a video speech and said... Our number one threat is Christians and people that have a Christian identity, and, and that's the main threat. I mean, these guys, Paul Watson, why do you think they're now coming right out in the open and saying, we want to ban speech, we want to infiltrate you, we want to arrest you? I mean, this is Hitlerian or Stalinistic or Maoist. I mean, this is out in the open. They're doing it because they've become painfully aware of the fact that the sleeping giant of the American people and the rest of the world is slowly awakening to their tyranny. And I mean, that's what he says on page three. Yeah, go back to that. The break interrupted you. Spend some time on that. He says, just like uh, three years ago, they had that uh, congressional meeting on extremists and showed mainline 9-11 truth groups and said these are terrorists. Yeah, and there was that 2006 White House directive under Bush which said that conspiracy theories were a wellspring of terrorism and that, that they had to be defeated. So this goes back to Bush. It's not just an Obama thing. And on page three of this white paper, Sunstein says, the existence of both domestic and foreign conspiracy theories, we suggest, is no trivial matter, posing real risks to the government's anti-terrorism policies, whatever the latter may be. So there he's saying that the people are slowly awakening to the agenda of the military industrial complex and it's becoming a problem for them now what's interesting about his solution to it later on he admits that in a repressive society more conspiracy theories emerge which is true because governments lie and oppress people and the people become more suspicious of government and bearing in mind conspiracy theory means 
disagreeing with the government on any fact whatsoever. That's basically how it's defined. So he says that repressive societies produce conspiracy theories, but then he says just ban free speech as a solution. On page 20, he says we could imagine circumstances in which a conspiracy theory became so pervasive and so dangerous, which in their eyes is what 9-11 Truth was becoming a few years ago, that censorship would be thinkable. So again, he's saying ban free speech. As I said before, page 14, he says ban conspiracy theories. Well, by the way, mainstream news is reporting that the TSA nominee, a former FBI agent, uh, is E-Roll Summers, Southers, is openly on video saying the number one threat is Christians and anti-global warming groups. They're saying the terror threat is the anti-global warming groups, totally peaceful. And you have Europe openly calling for banning them. The London Guardian saying, charge Lord Moncton with treason and execute him. Exactly, and that's another one of the uh, conspiracy theories listed in this report. It's on page four, along with um, the conspiracy theory that powerful people were involved in the assassination of JFK which about 90% of the American people now fully believe. So these people don't even realize, or their chutzpah doesn't allow them to recognize the fact that they're now the minority. But it also lists global warming as a deliberate fraud. That's also a conspiracy theory questioning global warming, which has proven to be a complete fraud in light of climate gate. So all along the line, he's saying basically that any dissension against the prevailing authority of government and whatever they say is a conspiracy theory and should be countered. Now, now, Paul, I want this to sink in for people. Congressional reports, Bush, Obama, everyone he's appointing, his own cybersecurity chief quits and says, this is a Pentagon takeover. They're spying on everything. This is all illegal. They just don't care. And now they're saying arrest people who don't believe in man-made global warming and the head of the new TSA says, that's the threat. I mean, these people are outrageous villains. I mean, it, it, it's, they know they're villains. They know, I mean, this, the uh, new head that Obama's trying to put in here, and I want to show a screenshot of him here from the document cam. I mean, it is so incredible to have Cass R. Sunstein openly writing this and now in the executive czar position over information with billions of dollars at his fingertips he, uh, again he's openly calling for infiltrating in his words peaceful groups and getting them to engage in violence or talking about violence to run off peaceful members and so they can then entrap and imprison the other people i mean this is so dangerous that they're in the open saying it we know it's always and, and then you read over what he calls for in the 29-page document. It's everything in COINTELPRO from the 70s and more. I mean, this is a blueprint to carry out these crimes and a reign of terror. And he's saying ban free speech and start arresting people outright if they criticize the government in any way. I mean, it's so outrageous, Paul. As well as attacks on political opinions that the government disagrees with. And yeah, then you've got this other Obama appointee, Errol Southers, who is trying to get to head up the TSA. That's been resisted, but it could go through. And we did an article on this on Monday in which he said that people who are anti-government or even anti-abortion, if you, if you disagree with abortion, then you're a threat. And he says that people who have those opinions should be treated as the main terrorist threat which is exactly what's happening in airports when we think of people like the Ron Paul treasurer who was carrying some campaign money and some Ron Paul political material, and he was arrested and interrogated for an hour simply because he was carrying this political material. So they're identifying their political enemies who are the main threat to their agenda, to their tyranny, and that is libertarians and conservatives and basically anyone who has two brain cells to rub together. They are actual Stalinists. I mean, there is no doubt that they're saying they want to take over and arrest us. I mean, these are outrageous criminals. It is outrageous. I mean, it is just, 
They've stolen $28 trillion publicly. They're openly engaged in fraud. They're robbing everything. Their health care bill raises taxes, cuts benefits, is a giant ripoff. They're just running around putting surveillance in, naked body scanners in the courthouses, uh, biometrically scanning everyone. I mean, there is no doubt, Paul, this is a bona fide tyranny.